In this video, I will share one of my easiest and fastest way to set the nature of lighting for interiors in V-Ray with an HDRI. Let's see. On the right viewport, we have the camera that will be rendered and the working viewport on the left. I will start the interactive render from the drop down on the render icon in the V-Ray toolbar. You notice that everything is black. That is because we don't have any light yet. With V-Ray 5 and 6, it is really easy to add an HDRI. Just open Chaos Cosmos, navigate to the HDRI section, download one that speaks to your vision and drag and drop it to the viewport. Now, as we can see, the HDRI is placed automatically into a dome light. Let's take a look at the render. Obviously, the image is too dark and with a bluish tint. No doubt that the wall is blue. Judging by the white objects, the light is bluish as well. I will fix these things really fast automatically instead of guessing the right exposure value and white balance color. Open the render settings. Navigate to the V-Ray tab, then camera. Here we have an option for auto white balance that should fix the bluish tint from the light and white objects will appear white. Let's see it. Ok, now the bluish tint is gone and the white balance is accurate. But the image is still too dark. Let's enable the auto exposure as well. Keep in mind that in some cases we may not want to use the auto white balance. For example, when it comes to wall sunlight. In this case, we would like to preserve the yellowish tint from the sun, so the auto white balance will not be wanted. Ok, overall the exposure is accurate as well as the white balance. Now, I will make some small color corrections. You can always do them in Photoshop, but I prefer to do it here to preserve the quality. First, I will add exposure. Probably you are wondering why if the auto exposure is already enabled. Well, this layer will be a fine tuning layer. We can see that some bright areas are slightly overexposed. I will decrease the highlight burns wider to suppress them. Pay attention that by suppressing the highlights, you lose contrast, so my advice is not to go to the maximum. To compensate, we will use the next slider and increase the contrast just slightly. We can also slightly change the overall exposure if we feel that the image needs it. Then, I will add a hue saturation layer to decrease the saturation and finally add a wood. You can find a lot of woods for free on the web. Overall, in that case, I think that this lighting is fine and enough, but probably some of you are wondering how to show direct lighting in the room. We can click on the walk texture to icon option in the dome light and rotate it. From my experience, the line on the dome light symbol is pointing at the sun, so I will keep that in mind when rotating. This is one easy way to see direct light, but in my case I prefer to keep the lighting soft without direct light rays. Ok guys, that was all for this video. If you want to see more V-Ray content, check out my other videos and stay tuned.